Hello. Today I'm going to do another photographic project. It's a really simple technique, and these are called cyanotypes. Cyanotypes are one of the first methods of producing photographs uh, back in Victorian days. It's a really simple process, but it's really effective. You can make some really beautiful images from it. Uh, so to make cyanotypes, you need chemicals, of which I have plenty, and you need sunlight. You need to, uh, and it's quite a nice sunny day today. So hopefully uh, I'm going to well, I'm going to show you how to make do the process, and hopefully we can produce some nice images. Uh, so let's see. How For cyanotypes, we need these two chemicals here. And these are readily available online. Uh, so you need to mix up part A, which is potassium ferrocyanide, part B, ferric ammonium citrate. Now, when these two are mixed together in equal parts, they'll produce a chemical which is sensitive to UV light. Uh, so it's not sensitive to artificial light. So when you're preparing your uh, your paper or whatever you're going to make your cyanotypes on, you need to be out of UV light, which is why I'm upstairs in my attic, fairly uh, scruffy and overcrowded, but obviously I'm away, no UV light here at all. So I've already made up my chemical, got my paper here. All I'm going to do is apply the chemical to the paper. Try and put it on on fairly even brush strokes. Okay, so that's been applied with the with the cyanotype chemical. We can leave this to dry, and then we can uh, see what we can produce. Okay, for the next stage of the process, we've got the uh, the two sheets of paper here with a cyanotype chemical on there. I must admit, I've maybe not painted the chemical on particularly smoothly, uh, but never mind. We'll see what kind of uh, image we can get from it. And over here, I've just got some various dried plants and flowers, which I always think look really effective. So I'm going to uh, place them on, try and make something look nice, and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, so I've got a couple of nice designs here. Uh, there's one there with some dried flowers on. Should look pretty good, if I can get it in focus. And we've got another one over here. So we're gonna take these outside now, put them in the sun, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've got a couple of designs that I've been working on upstairs. Sun's kind of trying to come out now, so there's plenty of UV light around here. So we just need to leave these out in the sun uh, for maybe 20 minutes or so. Give them a good long exposure. And um, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the first sign of type. It's had about 20 minute exposure to the sun. So... Just going to do the grand reveal. And then we have an image. Now what we need to do is just rinse this off in water. Okay, and here we have finished cyanotype. Okay, so I managed to get the three cyanotype prints dried off. So I'd just like to show you what I've produced here. So here's the first one. Got the second one here. And the third one. And you can see with this one, I've applied the cyanotype 
uh, chemical with the brush strokes so you can see it quite clearly and looks really nice like that okay so that's how you make cyanotype prints a uh, really simple very effective way of making printing if anyone would like to have a go on it please let me know uh, i've got loads of chemical i'll be happy to send out some pre-treated paper i'd love to see what you could come up with okay thanks a lot